Hi, and welcome to another edition of Strategic Business Insights. Today we're going to talk about starting a video blog, just like the blog that I've started myself. Uh, this is part of that blog. So if you've been following my work, then of course you know what it is that I've been doing. But if you found this video just by searching for a keyword phrase on YouTube or on Google, then you're welcome to go to my channel on YouTube and see what I've done. Uh, but this video is about encouraging you to consider starting a video blog of your own. Uh, I started my video blog in February, uh, actually March of 2013. So it's a little bit less than two years at this point that I've been creating these videos. Uh, and I have to tell you, it has more than doubled my business. It has more than doubled, it has not tripled, but it has more than doubled my business. Uh, and the reason is, see, it's not that the video blog is bringing in a lot more traffic to my website, for example, but the conversion rate of people who visit my website has gone way up. Uh, because the videos inspire confidence and I'd like to tell you a little bit about that. But if you're watching this video, what do you do? Are you a self-employed service professional? Are you marketing yourself? Are you selling you? If you are, I strongly encourage you to consider starting a video blog of your own. Uh, first and foremost, the vast majority of people don't they don't feel comfortable making videos. Just this interaction right here, I'm speaking to a camera, right? I mean, I'm not speaking to you yet, you're gonna watch this later, but right now I'm recording this in my studio, I'm looking at a camera, and most people, they feel self-conscious about the way they look, they don't feel comfortable with this interaction with a microphone and a camera, uh, so they don't do it. 90% of your competition will not create a video blog of their own. They don't feel comfortable doing that. So if you do it, you're immediately ahead of 90% of your competition. They don't do the same thing. They will not do it. So you'll stand out in the crowd because you'll have that resource. Now, when people go to my website, of course, I'm a speaker. I'm, I, if you don't know what I, what I do or if you're not familiar with my work, uh, I earn over 90% of my income in speaking fees, so I go to conferences and I speak. So obviously in my situation in particular, people need to know what's my style, how do I, how do I deliver the content, how, what's my approach, how do I uh, speak to people. They need to see that before they can hire me. But when they see the videos on my website, and I don't just have a few, right? I have well over 100 now uh, in this Strategic Business Insights series. Uh, that I've created. So there's a whole bunch of video content and immediately people see, okay, number one, this guy's taking his career seriously, okay? Number two, uh, he's got an awful lot of content, right? He, in other words, he's, he's really doing this. And number three, they see my approach and they see my delivery uh, and they can determine from that point if they like it or if they don't. And I'm sure some people don't like it as much as others and that's fine. Uh, but they have an opportunity to evaluate my content in the privacy of their own home or in their office or wherever they might be, they can watch those videos. Uh, even for example, in many cases, there's a selection committee in my case where people, uh, maybe there's four or five or six people who get together and they might look at a short list of five or 10 speakers and de decide which one that they want at their conference. Uh, and so, those other speakers, they might have one video or two videos, but once my name comes is brought up, I've got over a hundred videos, right? People know immediately, okay, this guy's really taking this seriously, and they have a breadth of different topics that they can watch to see what's my approach going to be uh, in that particular topic. Now, the other thing you need to know, of course, is that there's there's different types of content on the internet, right? There's text, there's audio, there's photos, and there's video. Well, the number one for inspiring trust in people is video, right? Uh, it, it builds familiarity, right? If you're watching this video, it's almost like we're speaking with each other, right? You get to see how do I interact? I mean, what does my face look like? What's the tonality of my voice? It, it builds trust more than any of the other mediums. Uh, if you're curious what's in second place, it's audio. Audio does a very good job also of inspiring trust. Why? Because you hear the tonality of the person's voice uh, and you, you, you start to see the cadence of how do they speak, how do they interact with people. Uh, and so you have an opportunity to, to kind of evaluate that person in a more personal way 
than just writing something that they've written, for example, like a blog post. So when you do video, it inspires uh, more trust. And the one more thing I, I want to cover in this video, and this is important uh, because a lot of people don't want to do, they don't want to create these videos because they're giving the content away for free and they don't want to do that. And I want to encourage you to rethink that position uh, because when you create content and give it away for free, th th there's two types of people. There's people who are, are freebie hunters. That's all they care about. They just want to go out and get the information themselves and they never would have bought your services anyway, right? They are freebie hunters. They're not prospects. They're not potential customers because they're just looking for free information. They're going to go do it themselves either way. And then there's the people who, who would hire you, your legitimate prospects, your legitimate potential customers, and they don't have time to do it themselves, right? It's no, you, you don't have to worry about giving them the information for free through a video blog uh, or even a regular blog for that matter, but don't worry about giving the information for free because the people who will hire you, they need to know that you know what you're talking about. Right? They need to know that you understand the topic. Uh, and when they see that content, whether it's through a video or in a blog post or a white paper or a podcast or whatever form of content you choose, when they see that you know what you're talking about, they don't have time to do it themselves. They're going to call you and they're going to say things. This happens to me all the time. They're going to say things like, I've seen a bunch of your videos. We're not speaking with anybody else. Are you available? What's your fee? I get this all the time. Uh, I mean, of course, I could always use more business, but on a very regular basis, people contact me and they say, we've already evaluated you. We've seen your videos. We know what you're all about. Uh, we'd like to bring you to our conference. Are you available and what's your fee? That's what you want, right? At that point, you have no competition. And why did it happen? It's because they could build familiarity with you by watching these videos that you produce. So I really want to encourage you. Uh, I set up my studio for less than $500. Uh, I have some lights here. They're, you can't see them, of course, but they're big umbrella lights. I have a couple of more lights that are off to one side that shine on my face. Uh, this green screen is literally a piece of fabric uh, that I bought on Amazon for 20 bucks and it's tacked to the wall. Uh, and then of course I have my camera, my tripod, and I have this lavalier microphone that I use. So it's very simple to do. Uh, it's literally more than doubled my business. Uh, and it's been rewarding in a thousand other ways. I get comments on YouTube. I get emails that people send to me. In some cases, I might have made a video that, that really touched somebody or helped somebody and they let me know and it feels wonderful. So if you're a self-employed professional, uh, even if you have a small business and you play a primary role as perhaps the figurehead or the ambassador for that business, I strongly encourage you to consider uh, starting a video blog of your own. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. My name is Patrick, encouraging you as always to think bigger about your business. Think bigger about your life.